It's important to us to recognize viewers going above and beyond in our community. That's why each month WTHI TV is doing just that by honoring someone with a Make a Difference Award. Yeah, this month's award winner is an inspiration and thanks to her, hopes being spread. You guys got this one done already too? Yeah, got another one on? Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. It's a weekly scene in Peggy Allen's basement, a home away from home for many of these ladies. And down here, it's like another world. Together, they form a miniature assembly line. We have one that's cutting, one that's sewing, one that's ironing. With every fold, stitch, and tie, you might get a false idea as to what they're making. To the naked eye, they're quilts. That's easy to spot. But look closer, and you'll see there's more, as each needle threads support. Mostly, it goes to hospice. People that, what do you say to them, you know, when you go to talk to them? and it's a way to comfort them. But each of these patches of patterns means just a little bit more to Peggy now. A few years ago, doctors informed Peggy that they had found breast cancer, something that could have left her on the receiving end of one of these blankets. While Peggy conquered her battle, she now fights alongside her daughter, who was recently diagnosed with stage four endometrial. I've never heard either one of them complain one time, not one time. Oftentimes, Peggy doesn't reveal to the patients who get these quilts that she is the one behind the veil. She insists that she doesn't want the credit. Well, on this day, we're giving it to her. This is Alan. My name is Michael Klaus. I'm with WTHI, and we would like to present you with this month's Make a Difference Award. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be able to, to know outside the box, this room, this area, that someone else really thinks that we're doing something special for people. The first day that I came here, I knew that she had a heart of gold. For Melissa, nominating Peggy was an easy decision. They always want to help other people. That's how everybody needs to be. I always wanted to do something for someone and I didn't know what can you do when you don't know a person, but you can give them something that they can wrap around them when they're chilling or maybe just need a hug. I tell them this, this has got a lot of hands on it, so if you're ever lonely, you can pick that blanket up and hug it, and we're right there. Peggy and her company of quilters, keeping bodies warm and doing the same for the heart. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Tony Cassasia. That's beautiful. Michael Klaus. Another one off the hopper. News 10. Congratulations, Peggy. You are truly leading the way in the Wabash Valley. And if you'd like to nominate someone for our Make a Difference Award, we want to hear from you. Just head over to WTHITV.com. Give us the scoop on uh, Community Standout. And it's hard to choose. There's it, too many people.